Well, we are on to our main event headliner for tomorrow night. Chris Eubank Jr. versus Anatoly Muratov. Chris back in the ring after five months. We last saw him put in a, a good performance, but he wants to show more tomorrow night, Johnny. Yeah, he wants he wants to show people what he's what he's all about. He has that air of cor- uh, confidence, arrogance about him, Chris does. But he does it in a, in a, poli- in a polite way. Um, uh, Muratov, he comes at a late notice. He boxed uh, two weeks ago, comes off coming off a win. Uh, he's to, he was to box next week, so we, he is fight fit. You know, even though he stepped in late, late notice. These are the banana skins. These are the guys that we're quickly overlooking because we've done our homework on on the main fighter. Uh, and, and this, hopefully, Chris won't make the same mistake. You know, he'll, he'll like he'll switch that confidence. It's very hard not to 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 lose. Uh, respect or or, or, or or energy for an opponent when somebody steps in and they notice and that's why you see so many of these fights going wrong uh, for, for the headliner it's a late change of opponent for Chris Eubank Jr he was due to be fighting Sven Elbir Muratov has come in at late, late notice how does that affect his preparations how does that change things for Chris or, or does it well, it depends which way he's standing. Orthodox southpaw. Sometimes you have to adjust the size difference and height. You've got to adjust your spine. But I think at this level that Chris Eubanks at at the minute, he's going to be just looking at putting a show on and doing the business. It's all about it's all about the Chris Eubanks show. You know, the showman. How good are those gloves? <laughs> I actually thought to myself, he's got golf gloves on, but they no, yeah. they're not. They're Superman gloves. They are. I'm getting some of them. <laughs> Could they I've be finding the their way to go with it. Johnny to go home? <laughs> confident very very confident we worked with Chris on Saturday night on the AJU6 show and yesterday we saw that switch flick didn't we it's fight time he's he's on fringe uh, on the fringe of touching distance of getting a fight for a world title that's a challenge and so you look at the champions out there, that are out there and the one that he was shouting off the most of that obviously was Triple G IBF champion Chances of that happening, we don't know. It might be the same as fighting Andrade, Charlo, yeah. or whatever. But then Billy Joe Saunders is coming along and says, you know what, I'll fight him, but he's asking for a hefty purse. Uh, so does that stop the fight from happening if that money can, can or can't be generated? You don't know. Yeah, but Chris has spoken. He, like Johnny said, he wants the legacy fights. He wants the big fights next, Carl. Can't overlook Muratov. We've spoken about that earlier, about the upsets that are caused over the recent months. You cannot overlook Muratov. No, you cannot overlook him. I, I don't think he will. He's, you know, he, he knows he knows what he needs to do. He knows the game. His dad was a top guy, Chris Eubank Senior. Obviously, we all know who he is. So he realizes it's business and it's time to go to work. So he's not going to be taking. He's not going to be complacent. There's no danger of that. But he does need to get a move on. At 32 years old, you know, he lost to George Groves. He had that good win against James DeGale. Now he needs that was, to be. What, 2019. Exactly, a long time ago. Now he needs to be tapping on the door for one of these major belts. I like the Billy Joe Saunders fight. He talks about getting the Golovkin. You know, there's a few fighters out there that that he can definitely jump in and mix with. Can he win? Does he belong at world level? We don't We don't fully know yet. I mean, the, the loss to George Groves was super middle, so it's unfair to say he doesn't belong there. Middleweight, I think this kid can go a long way and I can, he can win a world title. I'm looking forward to um, seeing him now step up to the plate and go on to world honours because that's what we want to see him do. Yeah, the thing is, he's made the adjustments to his career to improve his career. So so if he'd, if he'd blew to Billy Joe and go... He, if he'd not made any difference in adjustments in, in how he prepares for a fight, then why would it ever change? The adjustments have been Roy Jones Jr. Bringing Roy Jones Jr. into to your to your camp, into your, your 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 cooking pot, has made all the difference as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, but the relationship between Roy Jones Jr. and Chris Eubank Jr. He says it was a relationship that clicked immediately. And Roy, when I spoke to him yesterday, he said the brilliant thing about Chris is that he is a bit like a, he didn't use the exact words, but I'm going to say he's a bit like a sponge, basically. He, he's the model pupil. Whatever he says, he picks up, puts into practice. And he said it's actually, you know, th- that's put what it's way, all about. I gather Roy Jones is the first coach he actually listens to. Yeah. You know, usually he goes in the gym and tells the coach what he's going to do that day. And, 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 that, and that's never a good idea. So now he's in with somebody that tells him what to do, tells him how it's done. And this is why I expect an improvement in in what he's doing.